Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. I'm standing on the summit of Monte Generoso, right on the Swiss and Italian border. So much so I can put one foot in Italy and one foot in Switzerland at the same time. This is in Ticino, Switzerland. I'm at 5,600 feet and I'm above the tree line. And so I thought, what a great opportunity for me to talk about the tree line. I'm actually here to celebrate my 66th birthday, which is technically tomorrow. And I climbed from the lake level uh, from our ancestral home that uh, has been in the family for over a hundred years and hike climbed up to this point with over 5,000 feet of elevation gain over seven miles. So I'm feeling pretty good. So what is the tree line? Well, you can look at the tree line and the world geographically, and you can see at what latitude there's no longer any trees. By definition, the tree line is the point at which trees are no longer present where you have if you're counting trees you have a population of zero trees per square meter at that level so geographically as you move north across a continent or south if you're in the southern hemisphere you get to the point where the climate is too cold to support trees the same thing can occur on mountains. So I am here above the tree line on Monte Generoso, and the tree line can be influenced by uh, grazing animals. And so in this location here, it's really tough to say what is the biological tree line and what is the tree line here that's been influenced by grazing animals in a habitat or place where humans have participated in agriculture for over 2,000 years. The northern range limits of the tree line are tied to uh, snow cover, wind, cold temperatures, and the length of the growing season. At some point, the growing season is too short where temperatures are high enough for a tree to, uh, to complete its life cycle. Trees, of course, are woody plants, and it gets to a point where through cold temperatures and short growing season, they can no longer produce cells and live in that particular environment. Another big influence on trees is on mountains is the north side or south side in the northern hemisphere. The south side tends to have a much higher tree line than the north side where you find trees growing much higher in the mountains. And of course in the southern hemisphere this would be reversed. On mountaintops, in addition to the length of the growing season, the amount of moisture, the amount of soil can also be a factor in determining the presence or absence of trees. <clears throat> As a hiker, I'm always excited to climb a mountain and break through the tree line and get up into that alpine zone, which is a lot like tundra. Well, I hope you enjoyed me sharing with you and this impromptu, unedited, just shot off my camera episode of Nature at Your Door. Remember, I cover all things nature. Check out my playlists. I have hundreds of videos. My home base, of course, is in the Appalachian Mountains where I cover all the East Coast trees, salamanders, frogs, toads, snakes, fungi and wildflowers and spiders and more. And here I'm on the road with nature at your door in Ticino, Switzerland, where my mother was born and I have uh, lots and lots of family and relatives. But thanks again for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.